Friggin' winning this ball game. It's gonna be zero to nothing in a minute. slider finally and then for you that follow me on the old Facebook there you'll know that that one was all bent to crap and they ended up giving me a discount on it so I straightened it up look how straight that thing is so we're gonna pull this slider out here and we're gonna put that one in there now the tools you need for this is a rope a hook tool which I don't have so we're gonna use a bone I forgot my hook tool Jim and maybe some lube but I don't know we'll have to see lube is always good but maybe not for this job so I'm gonna set you in the truck here somewhere Probably up here. Here, about here. How's that? How do you feel? Pretty good? Can you see everything? Probably not. Let me put you on wide angle. That one will really make us fat. There you go. Well, you're not on wide, wide angle, but you're on a little extra wide angle. Let me raise you up a little tad. Just a bit. Not much. How about that high? How are you doing? There you go. So, first thing you want to do when you're doing a slider in one of these old square body trucks, or 87, my 87 here, is you want to... Take the interior trim off if you have any. Hey, look at the fuzzy headliner, eh? Nothing like good fuzzy. And then you want to uh, go from there, but be careful you don't crack your trim like I did because it's old and brittle. This rubber feels pretty old and brittle too, so it might be a little bit of a chore to get this one out, but only time will tell. So first thing we're gonna do is grab our thing that I wish was a hook tool, which is not, and we're gonna try to get this rubber kind of straight out and bent down a little bit. Just so we can start getting some pressure on it, eh? Watch your new headliner you just installed. Because if you have a new headliner, you can actually cock it over pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push on this son of a bitch. And push a rubber out. So you wanna use quite a bit of weight. Pretty much all of it. And you just pull the rubber with your fingers even. And it will just start to fall out. See, it's already coming out. Jim, so that's not too bad. My headliner's getting in the way. And I'm trying not to rip it. So just keep pushing and pulling on the rubber as you go. See how it's coming out? You probably can't see nothing because the headliner's in the way. But trust me, boys, girls, peoples, as you see down here, it's coming out. Let's go to the other side. Some people on the internet say these uh, sliders are a real pain in the ass to get out. And yes, they can be if you don't know what you're doing. But like I said, I've been working on a little bit of glass for a little bit of time now. So I kind of have an idea on how much you got to push and what you got to pull on stuff like that now just when you do this make sure when you get to the end of it you don't push too hard and flop her down on your paint job that would really suck and there you go jim that's all there is to it can't get my truck because i haven't got a step stool One. let me get up in here here you come careful watch your head so yeah we just pull it out bob your uncle that's how you remove your slider from your 87 so what we're going to do now take this rubber off because we're going to reuse it and we'll uh just set this down somewhere. I'm kind of tight for room in here. I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm going to clean this rubber off. Holy. How are you doing, Mr. Truck Ruski? Let's clean this rubber off and come back. Okay, so now that you have your rubber all cleaned up and nice and ready to go, you want to take that slider and you want to face it towards you on the inside. You want the inside facing you. One other thing too, make sure you put a coat of wax underneath where the rubber goes to keep her looking as mint as this friggin' truck is. Look at it. Crazy. So we're gonna put the rubber on the glass now. So how we wanna do that is you want the hook to face in towards the truck. So we'll hook it on the old glass brewski. Now I bought this slider. This slider is a factory replacement slider. Some sliders, you gotta watch what kind of rubber you have. You have a big thick rubber, you need a different kind of slider. You have to order a rubber with your slider. But when you do that, the rubbers are cocked nowadays. You can't get a decent rubber. So hopefully you have the same problem I got where you have the right rubber for the job. It's always good to have the right rubber for the job. You guys know that. So there you go, that's all there is to that. You hook that on and then you use what they call a rope. We're going to rope this one in. And as you can see, I use a little bit of a, a caulking gun tip to feed the rope into the rubber. 
it makes it a hell of a lot easier, it does, as you can tell. You just kind of go around with the old cock and gun tip, and Bob's your friggin' uncle, Jim. Bob's your friggin' uncle. There we go, look at that. Now I'll tell you right now, if you're using all aftermarket and new stuff, like I said, rubbers and stuff, you're dicked because the new stuff don't fit worth a shit. I'll tell you right now, I feel sorry for you if you're using it. I really do. So now we want to do that. We got the rubber right. You want to take the slider and you want to put it in the hole. And now this is where it's nice to have a buddy around or something, just in case you need to hold it. Cause there's not much to it really. There you go. All right. Pull on it, Jim. Okay, sounds good. So what you want to do is you want to hold this where you want it, kind of. Put a head here, if you're by yourself, and just start to hook her in. You just hook in the middle first, like so. Now you don't want it to come up like it just did. If it comes up like it just did, then you might as well just start over again. This is where it's a little bit hard when you're by yourself. Have patience with yourself. Don't get all pissed off and worked up. Just lift her back off and stick the rope back in and go at her again. There we go, see that was easy. So we'll do this again, and we'll see if we can't uh, get it this time, maybe. Even though that rubber doesn't want to stay on, does it? That rubber fits real nice and loose. There we go. Gap. Guess, yes. Always line up side to side. Make sure it looks pretty decent. Decent, decent. Okay, let's try this again. Kinda. I might have to go inside. I have to come in there and see you. But you never know. We might be okay. <laughs> Something's happening. Maybe. We get the corner in. Just wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. Decent. Go the other way. I should have lubed this up a little bit. Don't forget, if you're not good at doing this, add lots of lube. Okay? Never hurts to have more than enough lube. Jump. Something's not happening. Hold on. She's gonna go, don't worry. I didn't have any lube. Just keep rolling the corner so you don't rip your rubber. I'm gonna come out just a hair to get some stress off of it. There we go, oh, too far. All right, I'm coming in, stay. So if it slips out a little bit like it just did there, don't freak out. Grab your little tool, you just walk the rubber up to where it fell out. There you go. Little tap, little pull, little tap, little pull, little tap. Other side. Here we are over here. Hey, look over here. I'm over here now. The other side. So pull the rope and do the same thing, damn it. So hook her in, a little tap. Decent. Oh, need a little doodad. Need me a little stick of rooski. Now, if you're sweating when you're doing this, it means it's working. You always want to sweat when you're doing this stuff. If you're a glass guy, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not sweating, you're not working hard enough. She's going, Captain. We're freaking winning this ball game. It's gonna be zero to nothing in a minute. Or should I say zero to everything? How are we feeling up there? Not bad, I gotta give it a tap or a pull. Here, I'll get in here with you guys. Let's give it a little pull. There you go. Perfect. Boom, hey, boom. So once you get it in, you wanna go out here and you wanna eyeball that thing and say, hey, listen, how's it looking? Not bad. Might need a little tap here, a little tap there. So, oh, that slider looks so much better, that hole, that stupid other one. So. Feel, yep, feels good. Run your fingers along the rubber, feel it. Pull it down if you have to. Give it a little tweak right here. It's not quite over. We need a spoon. Oh, no, I can get it with my fingers. So if you have a little while like that, it normally means the rubber's not quite in. There you go, see? Feel along here, yep, good. It would help if I could see the headliner's in the way, so you gotta kinda feel this one. That's it. That's all there is to installing a, a slider in a square body truck. Or a back window, if it's a stationary, it's, a little harder because you can't use a hole as access when you're by yourself. So you might want a buddy or a suction cup on the inside to pull on the glass while you're giving a rope job. Woo, boys, I worked up a sweat again. Hey, that's good though, that means I done something. So there you go, there's my new slider in the old square body. And it looks 150 times percent better than the old one. It probably won't rattle either. Now CL Lawrence is not the best sliders. Let me tell you what, they're not the best but it works and it's tinted and it looks mint. So leave any comments down below, let me know what you think of this. I'm glad you're all here. I'm still around, I'm just not around as much as you'd like me to probably. But I love y'all, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.